Okay, perfect. So on today's talk, we're gonna basically put order into chaos. And we are gonna analyze, we're, um, so you different metrics to analyze code development. Mm -hmm. So first of all, introduce and, and tell about the things about us. Uh, my name is Ana Jimenez, and right now I'm doing marketing at Viterja. I'm a gamer and also an animal lover, and in my spare time I, I love um, doing a lot of illustrations and uh, doing learning Japanese. And what about you? Uh, so I don't have any idea about Japanese. There's <laughs> a bit of English, Spanish, uh, a really small amount of German, and that's all. I'm Viterja co-founder, and um, well, I had the opportunity to work with Anna well, this way. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, I had the opportunity to work with uh, Anna to produce some panels in chaos and understand what's going on in the growth maturity and decline working group. So, uh, we want to share with you what motivates us to do when doing this talk. Uh, first of all, is understand what chaos uh, GMD group is. Also contribute and learn how to do it because I came from the marketing field, which is quite different from this world. So I had to, I'm just a beginner trying to learn how to contribute here. And also put metrics into action and being able to integrate software and metrics. And with all that, we got the new panels. So this is all basically self-experience and we are trying to share with you our uh, experience producing these panels and this work in, within Chaos. So, um, yeah, Chaos, well, we already know what Chaos is. We had this presentation at the beginning, thanks to Dico. So Chaos is acronym for Community Health Analytics for Open Source Software. Um, you can look for this at chaos.community or github.com slash chaos. Uh, well, inside, inside uh, GMT group, what we, when we focus on trying to uh, identify where is my project at, the project lifecycle, if it's in growth, maturity, or decline. And basically it's that, try to identify with uh, applying several metrics and being able to analyze that. Mm -hmm. oh, wait. What? The point here is that we are not leading the community at all. So basically Jesus right there and Sean that should be around. Oh yeah, Sean, <laughs> sorry. But you were close to that. I'm dressed like Don. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, so they are the one basically leading the community, and of course the, the work done here have been possible thanks to some other people around in here, so Miguel Angel and Alberto that help us with uh, some mentoring actions and so on. So it's uh, working uh, a group together for money. So um, this is me. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So the group material decline. Um, the people here, please correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, we are talking uh, about three main focus areas. So if you remember, we have these focus areas, we have the questions and then the metrics. So the three main of them are code development, community growth, and issue resolution. So the work presented here today is focused on the first one, the code development. Okay, so the first thing we did was, was uh, went to the uh, contributed information and see what's what's going on. And we saw that uh, one of the first things to, that we can do to contribute is trying to define questions and metrics to help doing, yeah, that is right here. So we took a look to the uh, metrics that was already implemented. And we realized that even though I think they're already working on trying to visualize those metrics, uh, we didn't have panels uh, and um, yeah, basically we didn't have panels when to show those metrics. So we wanted to create those panels and being able to visualize it in, in a standardized way. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you remember, we have two uh, technical committees in chaos. So we have the metrics committee and we have the software committee. So this is our work to integrate both worlds in somehow. Because metrics people are defining metrics from a theoretical point of view, um, agnostic technological point of view. And then we have the software, right? So in this case, there are uh, some pieces of software that are in chaos, so we are now working in Grimoire Lab in this case. So we, we have Ogre, we have Credit, we have uh, other software there. Uh, this is the list of metrics that we had a look at the very beginning. Uh, if you enter into the website, uh, they say legacy metrics. 
So, but well, we, we said, well, it's, 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 it's a starting point, right? So uh, as far as, uh, as I remember, uh, or the best of my understanding right now, uh, GMD is trying to have uh, Jupyter notebooks to define all of these metrics in a software perspective, right? So this is another way to produce this, but instead of having notebooks, we are having panels at the end. Right. So we are mainly focused on some of the first metrics that we have. And for this, basically, each of the metrics, we have a specific question, right, that we have uh, right after. So, well, this is a list of things. Um, my first impression when I uh, saw all that was like, what the hell, this is a chaos. Uh, I don't know how to start with, uh, what should I do? So we follow a process. Uh, we open the ticket and then discuss about, okay, how, how should we do this? And then it started the creation process. We began uh, building the panels and also uh, building the doc documentation, export panels as JSON file, export documentations, and doing this very famous pull request to Grimoire Light Seagulls. <coughs> and after that, I had the review process and, uh, well, there were a lot of my coworkers helped me doing this, uh, thanks to uh, uh, Miguel Angel and Daniel, that helped me a lot. And finally, uh, all those panels were merged and approved. And yeah, it was a cool process. Yeah, in this case, we had Alberto, but you know, as he was a top reviewer, we don't thank him. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. So well, then we have some panels. If you want to have this slide, uh, you can go to chaos.bitter.io, um, which is, oh, it's not here, okay. Uh, you, can, you can have this there, so mm. let me do this, and then we move this there. Yeah. We can show you this line, basically. Uh, if you go to chaos.bitter.io, is where the uh, website is, and then we can go through each of the panels, right? So for each of the panels, what we have is basically, we try to have this small, so we have, four, we have defined four or five widgets, right? And then uh, for each of the widgets, we have certain documentation oh, uh, at the bottom. And then this is telling us what this is going on, right? If I have some <coughs> in. Basically, the, we have in first place the number of lines of code chains, which is one of the chaos GMD uh, metrics. Um, we have things like, well, the idea behind the panel is having a look at how the, con the community contributes to the repository in terms of modified lines, right? So we have number of added lines, we have number of removed lines, and then we have some specific charts, as this one, where we can see some peaks of activity, and then we can drill down and check what's going on right there. Because this is something that happened there. What happened? Probably it's a migration of uh, files from somewhere to another way in the, in the chaos community. But if we click there, uh, well, you know, in Kibana, we, you can drill down, so we would see exactly the repositories where this happened and all of this. So this is one of the panels. Uh, then we can go for the other one. So let me zoom out again. Oops. Uh, well, as you can see, it follows the same structure. It has uh, um, a description at the bottom. And also, there is the main widget there. And this time, we are measuring medium time to close uh, in days. Uh, as we are measuring uh, the um, pull request, uh, instead of, as there is not a, um, a merit status, we just focus on, OK, when is it closed and when it's open. So that's why we are measuring medium time to close. And as you can see, there are ranges, so you can easily customize the ranges. So we say, okay, um, like um, green is okay, it's all right. Medium is okay, you may be taking too long, and red is just a disaster. But if in your community you feel like maybe uh, it can be different ranges, you can easily customize that. And you also can filter by organization or project. You have the all, all the main numbers there and repositories. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty yeah. simple. So here in chaos, thing. we are under one day closing things, which is good. quite a good number. <laughs> this green thing here is small thing, right? Uh, more things. So pull request. Uh, this was, for instance, done by, by Alberto. Um, the idea is basically the number of pull requests that got merged at some point, right? And then this is 
Uh, we have the train, which is the yellow line. This is time. This is our time. This is the number of pull requests that got merged. And then the bars are basically the, the number. So basically, the number of pull requests merge is increasing in the community. Then we have the same stuff here, like uh, filtering by organization, the project, list of repositories, and some documentation that we have here. Okay. Um, the other one? And this is the average time to fair response when uh, a pull request is open. So you can also see the tendency line here. In this case, it's decreasing. And there are also main numbers, like uh, big numbers there, the median time, and also the average time to fair response. Mm -hmm. So that basically means that we are quite fast yeah. responding in, in, in median, right? So it is the best 50% of the, of the population. Um, we go back to the slides. slides that uh, should be, yeah. Okay. So let's go to the very end. And let's end with, so, with some conclusions. Uh, what we achieve, we indeed understand the process and how chaos uh, works. Uh, we understand, we, we learn, well, I, I learned how, how to contribute to the process. Also, we were able to put metrics into action. And finally, we create the new panel. So I think we uh, succeed into that and we did it good. Hmm. And there's also further work to do or some highlights that my co-worker Daniel, so... So, basically, we would like to enter into discussions at TMD, hmm. because this is work done on our side, let's say, on our side, but not that integrated with TMD so far, at least, well, we are defining panels, right? Creating panels. So, there's still a bunch of panels to be created at some point. Uh, then we still, we, we had this discussion about, are these four metrics that we define, these four panels, really telling us something about growth, maturity, or decline of our project? We are not that sure yet, so we are still missing the pieces of saying, what if we aggregate all of the information uh, and we build some final panel? Is this really telling us something about the status of this, uh, of my project, if this is declining and so on? So it's something, it's an ongoing discussion, definitely. Um, yeah, so this is basically our, all of our experience, I have to say, right? Yeah. Anything else? Any questions? Yeah. Questions? No. Nope. Hungry people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I do have a million questions, but uh, the, they're very deep and technical, I think. Uh, the, how long did it take you to put together panels? I know nothing about what it, what's involved in, in defining the different panels. Oh, uh, how long? I will say. From my experience. Days? Yeah, I mean, maybe it took me like one week. I will, well, well oh, for the whole process, I would say two weeks. <laughs> Because I had to define and to understand what was that for, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, I would say two weeks, like from the beginning, like discussing, creating, doing the pull request, and getting accepted. Do you use any, sorry, do you use any type of different sources to, uh, to compare and uh, do some research on? different types of representative data? Uh. So, uh, not really. So we, what we just produced were the panels to visualize the information. Uh, you can have uh, aggregated information for, let's say, I don't know, maybe you are using uh, uh, Garrett and GitHub pull request and something else for the code review process. You can, you can, you can build a specific panel for that. So that's, that's definitely doable. And then you can split by data source. So it's a matter of, I would say that one of the takeaways that we have from here is that we need in first place to do a mock-up of what we want to have and when you really understand what you need to answer, so we already did this work thanks to the GMD people, then you start building the panel because as, as there's this big amount of information, basically you can visualize whatever you want. So then